Well, good morning. Sun's coming up behind me there. I don't know if you can see it so that it does it justice, but um, I didn't wake up till about 7.30, which was great. Actually, I had a good night's sleep. I fought with my pillow a couple times, but that was about it. Um, stayed warm. The wind died down. Um, the weather report said it would be heavy wind gusts till about 8, and that was just about spot on. Um, it started slowing down around 7.30, and by 8, it was perfectly still, and I think that made all the difference in the world. I was warm and toasty. Um, started off with this coat, but took it off, and put it down by my feet. That helped my feet, um, for some reason, and I, this is, I don't know. But the, the bottom, the foot box of a down sleeping bag has less fill in it, or whatever they said. It's, it's not as warm, doesn't have the high rating. Why? I don't know. But stuff in my coat down there worked. It was fine. Um, today I am at Sassafras Gap, mile 63.1, so that was like a flat five miles for me uh, yesterday. Today, I was thinking I was so cold last night, it was so windy, and I was so tired, I thought maybe I would go to a hostel tonight, hike today and get, get a hostel, and I checked all that out, and if I want to do that, I got to hike like six and a half miles, um, which after a good night's sleep and good nutrition, I think I can do, but we'll see. If not, I'll wait till um, the top of the mountain right before the gap is where you have to call them from. So I'll decide then and I will let you know. For now, show you where I'm at. My coffee is boiling. I really should put my coffee in there, but I'll let it go a minute so I can show you. Just uh, the trail goes back down around that way and up from here. But um, it's just beautiful being in the woods. Sitting around, that's just a trail up to more tent sites. And, um, let me turn this off so I'm not wasting fuel. Turn that off. Now, let's see if I can show you. Yeah, that's where I slept. And the sun, it's beautiful. Okay, see you down the trail. So, I had my first sit down break. 15 minutes out of camp going slow stop every couple of minutes catch my breath and carry on it's just a very steep uphill to get here and uh somebody placed this log right here Can you see it yeah so convenient place to stop and rest catch my breath sip a few electrolytes it's pretty i'm hoping for some sun all around is blue but right above me is gray so yeah, see, there's some blue in there. Anyway, um, I am hoping to get to the top of Kelly Knob today, maybe to have some lunch. That's out of the 4,100 feet up. <laughs> um, that's, I guess, where I will make my decision about what I'm going to do. Contact the hostel and make uh, pickup arrangements and all that. But I had such a good night last night, I might just stay at the shelter, which is a little further than Kelly Knob, but... Um, yep, gonna, I'm thinking of, um, I think I know four Kellys. Um, I don't know if they will get mad at me for saying last names or not, but, uh, well, I'll just say where they live, okay? <laughs> uh, one's in Florida, one's in Georgia, not too far from me. One's in Michigan, and I've never met her, but we're... Related somewhere back along the line and another one's in Maine. So hi to all the four Kellys And I'm going to be thinking of you all the way up to Kelly Knob And we'll see what your namesake does to me <laughs> See you down the trail Whew, tuckered out I am stopping to sit about every 15 minutes Can't tell, but that is a very steep climb Beautiful view though just beautiful, just beautiful. Mountains as far as you can see in the trail going up, up, up. Woo! If you don't think that's steep, try strapping a toddler to your back and <laughs> going up the stairs. It's about what it's like. Or like I said before, parking garage, but just wanted to share my break room with you. See you down the trail or up the trail. So, I have been sitting for 
a little over an hour, an hour, an hour and 15 minutes maybe, um, after that long climb up this hill at Kelly Knob. And I'm still, um, I'm not doing so good, honestly. I'm just cutting to the chase and telling you what's going on. I'm shaky. I talked to a uh, trail ambassador and couldn't retrieve words like crazy. I just was like, um, 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 and feeling shaky. Was not hungry again, but um, talking with him more, I guess I'm lacking carbohydrates. So I forced myself to eat some ramen noodles. Um, and I am feeling a little bit better, so I'm going to get going here. I have uh, booked two nights in a hotel. So I'm gonna, I got another four miles down to Dick's Creek, Dick's Creek Gap or Dick's Gap Creek. And uh, I booked myself a night in the Holiday Inn in Hiawassee. It's funny because it's, <laughs> I've already spent a night in Hiawassee, but, and I've done a lot of hiking since then, but um, it, it's funny. Anyway, um, I've still hiked a lot of miles, got another four miles to go. And um, I will get the free shuttle that Hiawassee runs to get in town and book two nights because the next two nights going to be really cold. And then after that, it'll be like 40s overnight, which is next to nothing. And I will be much better prepared. I keep saying that, but I'm learning. You know, I'm learning every time. But um, that is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm feeling myself getting better having eaten some ramen noodles. And I'm just going to eat whatever I've got all the way down the trail. I've got protein bars and nuts and I suppose there's a little bit of carbohydrates in those things. I don't really know but I'm feeling better, a little bit clearer, um, still a little bit shaky but um, I think some of that will go away as I hike. Uh, not giving up but it will be nice to have two nights in a hotel. All right that's it. I will check in with you later. Bye. Okay I am about 1.1 mile from the trailhead and the shuttle into the hotel and all that. They say there's uh, trail magic there. Hot dogs and beans. Not exactly vegan, but I don't care at this point. <laughs> desperate times call for des desperate measures. I'm doing all right, except now my knee has tweaked. So whatever, I'll get down the last. That was about maybe a uh, half hour ago. So I'm going to take some ibuprofen here and uh, got some water here. Spring coming right out of the ground. It's just beautiful. Trail is up there. That's where my, my pack is sitting up there. That looks a lot further than it actually is. It's more like, eh, that's a little more accurate. Anyway, it is beautiful. Very, very, um, I don't know, kind of thick through here. I can't imagine all this with, when it's all leafed out in the summer, you wouldn't be able to see much of anything. I imagine that's what it'll be like for me further down the trail, if I make it. All right, I will leave you with that and uh, see you at the hotel. So here I am, uh, Sunday morning, <clears throat> leaving Hiawassee. The hotel is behind me, I had to truck through the woods. <laughs> Uh, but this town is just so beautiful, isn't it? If you're ever in the area, come visit. It's beautiful. That is the back of the uh, grocery store where I'm going to meet the shuttle back to the trail. I had a good day off yesterday and uh, took care of myself and rested and ate all the good stuff. And I went shopping over here and bought all kinds of other good stuff. And so I am way down. I don't even know. I wouldn't want to guess what my pack weighs right now. But I know i got to eat better and more. So that's what I'm trying to do. I've already had a biscuit and a little bit of a pastry this morning. And a couple of supplements and coffee and juice. And so I feel ready. Ready to go. Uh, beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, it's going to rain later in the week, I know. I'll take that as it comes and decide decide when we get there. Uh, sometimes when it's uh, storming elsewhere, it's not that bad in the mountains or in the trees or, you know, that sort of thing. So we'll see. Um, 
we'll, we'll uh, take it piece by piece and see what other people are thinking and doing and make a wise decision when the time comes. But for now, I just want to let you know that uh, I did uh, get off at Dix Creek and took the shuttle in and had myself a nice rest and ate myself silly. <laughs> uh, I started out with this pack weighing 25.3 pounds. It, it has to weigh 30 pounds now. It has to. And I won't even embarrass myself by listing off all the stuff I've packed in now. But I could feed the whole trail for a week, I think. <laughs> all right, that's it. Ta-ta. See you on trail.